Hello everybody, this is Danny from Deep South Homestead. This morning we have decided to make some additions to our greenhouse here. We've come on the back of the barn, we're putting up a new framed in roof over this. A lot of issues here, the water's been hitting this door here, we have some water issues with that. Plus we want it where when we come out of the barn we can go into the greenhouse without actually having to be in the weather if it's raining or something. So. We've purchased some more clear polycarbonate panels and we're going to be putting them on the top of this up here to make it match the greenhouse. We're going to take this door off. We're going to actually turn it around on and put the hinges on the other side so that the doorknob doesn't open against the door here. And we've got a lot of changes we're going to make. We're going to come back with a gutter system on the roof right up here. We're going to gutter that over. We're going to bring a downspout in. We're going to put a water content catchment system in the greenhouse to capture some water, to water our greenhouse with. We've got a lot of projects going on here in the near future. We'll be showing you updates on each one of them as we do it. But right now, this part that we're doing is we're going to be putting this roof on here. We're going to show you that when it's finished in just a little while to kind of let you see this phase of it. Thank okay, we have got the panels on the roof now. We're in the dry here. The next phase is we're going to be putting a gutter underneath the edge of it up there to catch the water that I mentioned to you before and going into the barrel in the room here. So we are okay, at this here phase we are behind here. the greenhouse. Got the water catchment system done. I've got my gutter. Let me get out a little bit where you can get a better view of it. Got the gutter put up. We've got a screen on top of it to keep the leaves out. You see where it goes in the building right here. There, Come down. If you noticed I changed my door on the back of the barn. I hinged it in the other direction. All right, we're fixing to go in the greenhouse. Here we go. Door locked back. The heat in here is just unreal. And here we have the water catchment system. You see it comes in from the outside right there. Comes down through the downspout into the top of our 55 gallon drum we have here this pipe here is the overflow when it fills up you see it comes down it actually goes underneath it goes all the way through the back back yonder and goes out I get it where I can get back here you can see it goes out back here and goes back outside the building and dumps back on the ground when a tank fills up during a rainstorm what we have here, if I can get this and try to explain it to you, the water comes out of here. This valve will be opened up. It comes through here, across here. This valve will be opened up. Water will come here and it go to there. I got a union right here. This will go into our pipes to go fill up all these pots down through here. But if it hasn't rained and I need water, what we'll do is we'll come back. We will turn this one off. We look outside here, I have a fitting where we'll hook a water hose up out here. We'll come through here. Then we will open this one up. The water will come up through here. This one's closed off so it can't go back in the tank. Then it will come around and go through here and go to the pots to water them. But in the event we want to use this right here, we will close this one off. Then when the water comes through this bottom one and up, it can't go this away. It goes right here and it can't go that away. So then we can use the water spigot on it. So we have all these things laid out on it here. And I know it looks a little complicated, but that's the way it works. This is our water catchment system in the greenhouse. Give you one more look up how it comes in. comes out. I'm going to come out the door. You can see it goes up. goes into the bottom of the gutter. It runs along the top of this clear panel roof that we put out here. There. There. Into the top of the drum. This is the overflow that comes out and goes under the tank. And actually it comes out right yonder, you can see. So in the event we get long rainy periods, the water will just pour out on the ground once the tank is full. And because this is lower than this, the water, and this is two inch, this is a two inch, what water comes down this, the same amount of water 
based on square inches can go out so that we don't have to worry about it flooding over in the building here. So I hope what you like what you've seen with the water catchment system here in the greenhouse. Okay, we're in the greenhouse. It is starting to rain outside. We had some pretty good rain. We had an inch of rain. Kind of want to show you a little bit about the system and how well it's working here. We're really, really pleased with it. It's coming down through this pipe here, and running down into here. And get this, one inch of rain, here's the water in the barrel right here. One inch of rain has filled that barrel half full of water. You can see it across the front there. So now we know that the water, the barrel is going to hold the water. It's not leaking anywhere. We know that one inch of rain will fill a barrel half full. So anytime we get two inches of rain, that's a full barrel. Thank you from Deep South Homestead.